During our last video, we learned to log user events. We're going to continue with that project and add alarms. The first step to adding an alarm is creating a variable. We'll go to the alarm tab, we'll set the alarm, and we'll create an alarm message. My friend is alarming. And we'll OK. And OK. So we have a new alarm variable created in an alarm group. The alarm group 1 was created by default when we created the project. Now, to combine the alarms and the events into one system object, I'm going to right click and create a new category. I will call the category events and I will add both the alarm group and the system event group. The next step is to go to our panel. We'll double click our system log. We're going to change the group to events to incorporate both the alarms and the events. We'll create it as a log so that we know when an alarm is tripped and the time it is reset and I'll create a switch to simulate the alarm. We'll create it as a bit, as a toggle, and use the alarm and add. And we'll simulate our project. Right click on target, start simulation. I can trigger the alarm. Oh my goodness, we better log in and fix the alarm. User and the password is CAPS user from our last video. We will log in. We will go back. We'll see that we've logged in. And I will change the value to 75. And oh my goodness, the alarm has reset. I can reset back to 25. Enter. Oh my goodness, user did that and I tripped. He better go back and change it to 80. And the alarm is fine. Let's add several alarms to the group. Close simulation. I have created uh, an alarm template in the tool chest with nine additional alarms. So I'll drag that. The alarm variables are all created and we will simply start simulation. We started the application and we've got alarm two. Oh, alarm 8 tripped. Alarm 2's off. Alarm 9, 5, 8's off. 4, 8, 9's off. 8's back on. 7, oh, oh, look at this. And we have the log. 